This is a great functional defensive activity. Uh, I really, really like the, uh, the, the most on this. So uh, these are the wing backs for the time being. They can have a ball on their own. They can, they can come close. They can knock the ball back and forth. They can, talk, they can knock the ball over distance. Uh, they can stay ready while these players are at work. Um, now here, at first, first phase, we start by just passing the ball back and forth, working on the pressure, cover, and balance from the rest of the team. They're not winning the ball yet. We're just moving the ball. Now we steps, we slide. So we're working, working on basic pressure cover stuff. Nice and easy. Step in, cover, uh, play it, step up, cover. And again, this is a very tight space, about 25 yards in, in width by maybe 20 yards in length. Uh, so it's somewhat easy. We're just going over principles. Um, the coach will be ready and he'll play a ball back. He'll put a ball in. And essentially now these four have to keep it from these four in a tight area. Uh, they look to get three or four passes very quickly uh, prior to then uh, getting the ball uh, wide. In this moment, uh, he will take a touch down. Uh, they will all drop in very quickly and they will narrow in. Uh, as they drop, uh, three attackers will leave the box as well. So we are gonna come out here. We're not gonna win the ball yet. This player is gonna take the near zone. And then these two will be matched up against three. So as the ball gets served in, typically we like to zone between. And then as they enter the box, we take the near players and allow the far player to be available. This is, this is so in a game they get used to, uh, if the ball's flighted, the goalkeeper has more time to react, get set, and then they could also slide and it's less of a, of a difficult uh, shot to take. But if a ball's whipped in and this player's were to step in front and get a good header on it, that's when goals are scored. So we wanna take away the near player, take away the near player, um, and go man for man in that box. As soon as they do this and the ball's let's say cleared out, uh, then another ball from this side will be knocked in, uh, direct ball in, uh, they, these blues do not challenge for it. These players get set. They win the ball out again, and then they all step their line. Uh, that would end that phase. Going to the next one, we'll come back in our box. Uh, and now it will be functional heading. So each, four, each player will have a ball, and we'll just throw the ball up, and they'll come, they'll head the ball back. Throw the ball up, head the ball back. Throw the ball up. Head the ball back. Just doing technical heading, just functionally, getting up, timing, getting their arms out. Uh, and then on the command, we will, we will boom, break out into 4v4. They gotta connect four passes real quick. Red tries to step the ball and cover. We're not trying to just press, press, press. We're just working on pressure cover balances again. Uh, so if we do step, win the ball, and score a goal, great. If not, if they get to four or five passes, boom, they knock it wide and we recover in, we narrow in as we cover in, as we provide out, near zone, and then again, go two against three, making contact, ball gets served in, boom, we clear it, another ball gets served in as we get together, boom, we clear it up and away, and then we step the line as we clear it. Okay, last phase would be these four in. Again, the blues would all have a ball at their feet again, we step up and all we're doing is dribbling back and forth, working on the footwork and the movement of individual defending. Back and forth, we'll, and, and we'll come back, we'll step up and we'll do it a few times, back and forth, just getting the movement before, uh, once again, boom, balls are out, next ball's in, play, pressure, cover, try to keep the ball three or four passes, uh, get it wide, and now when the ball goes wide in this third phase, the wing back has to fly out and his objective is to not, is to disallow the service. So individual moments, these three would drop in, three attackers would attack. Again, we have a near zone spot. So as he looks to, to break it, we're covering this near zone. And then we have two defenders against three attackers in which we look to make contact and take away the near, nearest two runners and allow the farthest one to be available. Uh, Again, when the ball's played in, boom, we clear it away. And right away, boom, we step up, we narrow in together. Second ball's delivered in. 
boom, we clear it away, we step the line, and then that would be the end of that phase of play. So you could rotate, uh, each segment takes about you know, a minute and a half to two minutes, so it's about a six to nine minute uh, act, act, or interval when it's all said and done, when they recover to the grids. Um, good, good activity to concentrate on different principles and sub-principles within the defensive unit.